It feels good, you know, just being around the friends I grew up with while I was in middle school, and it's just been a great ride. I've been enjoying it so far. What, what was, uh, how, how much of a factor was that in deciding on Kentucky, the, the uh, idea of back to Lexington? Yeah, it was a big factor, you really? know, just knowing that I have some family friends here and uh, people that can look out for me, you know, whenever I need a break for a little bit just to go over, maybe go over to, to, go over to their house and, like, hang out and stuff like that. That was a big factor. You know, I, I was going to guess that it wasn't that big a deal. Since, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, you have bigger fish to fry. Yes, sir. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I grew close with uh, some people while I was down here, and, you know, we really got close. So it was a big factor. How much when you, I know you went up to New York, right, and then on to Florida, mm -hmm. how, how much was basketball the driving force in, you know, in, in making these decisions? Uh, it was a big factor, you know, basketball mainly, you know, because I was playing under coach uh, Kevin Boyle for a little bit, and, you know, just developing under him is, was a big factor. And also the school that I went to, Mount Verde, they have a great academic uh, situation there, so it worked in both favors. Now you, uh, as I understand it, you played with Michael Kidd Gilchrist right? yeah, my in, freshman in New Jersey. Year. What was that like? Uh, that was great, you know, just as a freshman, you know, I was young, so I was kind of still learning the game and stuff, and just uh, being under his wing for that year was big for me because he's the hardest worker I've ever seen in my life, so just learning how to work hard from him was very great that year. How did, what, what separates him? Because a lot of players work mm -hmm. hard, right? I assume you yeah. work hard. <laughs> what separates him? Why is he uh, You know, he's just very competitive. You know, every time we play pickup games, you know, he'll guard me, he'll talk smack. You know, he he doesn't like losing at all. You know, but I kind of went back at him. You know, I was still young, so he taught me a lot of lessons. What what would you say he talks smack? What might he say? You know, <laughs> when he would say something like that. You know, he'll say I'm too little or something like that. Since <laughs> I was still bigger than him, really, but, you know, I was young, so he would just talk a lot of smack saying I was too little, I couldn't guard him and stuff like that. But, you know, just learning from him. How did you take that? What did you think you know, of that? When it was uh, the first time he said this to you? You know, uh, I took it to heart, you know, but I knew he was just trying to better me, and, you know. I just, it made me want to go back at him, you know, so yeah. it just made me play better and raise my game a little bit. Now, I'm assuming you talked to him about playing at Kentucky. Oh, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What did he say? You know, before I came here, he just said if this was the school I'm going to go to, it wasn't going to be easy at all, you know. It was going to be the hardest place to work at. It was the hardest place he'd ever work at. And just hearing that from him because he's one of the hardest workers I've seen, and he said it was hard. I just pictured in my head, you know, what would it do for me, you know, if they push, if they push me every day to be a better player. What uh, what does that mean? The hardest place? Can you what what makes Kentucky the hardest? Uh, he just like said, you know, just waking up early, doing weights and conditioning. Just you're on a full time schedule. Even like with classes and stuff, you got to stay focused in that. And you know, it's it doesn't just prepare you just for basketball. It prepares you for like life and being on your own and stuff like that. And he said that was like the main. That was the hardest part. Now, most uh, I read where you say or you consider yourself a center. Mm -hmm. not a forward or not a power forward. Most big guys want to be a forward or want to face the basket and all yes, that stuff. <laughs> that not, not for you? Uh, not for me. You know, I feel like I'm the biggest guy on the floor, so why not use that to my advantage? And why not uh, just be my own player and not try to step out from my comfort zone? You know, I just try to play, be the best player I can be and just uh, use everything to my advantage, my height, my uh, body, just... I feel like no one can stop me in the paint. Kentucky's had a lot of big guys, a lot of different kind of big guys. Anthony Davis and Noel and uh, DeMarcus Cousins. How, how how does your game compare to those guys? You, uh, think? you know, we're all different. Everybody's you know, different. Everyone's right? different in my own skin. I feel like uh, I really just enjoy being in the paint and just, you know, that's my bread and butter right there. So I think that's the strength of my game and just rebounding and stuff like that. Now you, uh, you. My understanding is that you grew up with Team USA and those international. Mm -hmm. How often did you play on those uh, teams? I played. We went to Lithuania one summer, uh, the 17 under. We won a world championship there, and you know I was doing real good on that team. I unfortunately I got hurt in the final four, so I couldn't play in the that championship. That was the only time you played with. Yeah, team that USA. was the only time. You know I went to the training camps when I was younger and stuff like that, but that was like my only trip. I went out to Lithuania and Canary Islands in Spain. So it was real nice. That was a great experience. Just uh, overseas, it's real different. You know, the game is slower. 
you know, it kind of frustrated me a little bit because <laughs> all they were doing is playing the half court offense and stuff like that. But it taught me val valuable lessons. Now you could have played this summer, right? Mm -hmm. what, why didn't you uh, take advantage of that? Uh, I just felt like I just needed to come here, you know, for summer and just uh, do the weight and conditioning program and just getting ready for this upcoming season because I feel like it's going to be a special one. Now I'm assuming Coach Kell encouraged you to do that? Uh, he didn't really encourage me, but it was I knew I was going to end up coming here anyway and just uh, get prepared for this season. So it just sort of understood? Yes, sir. Uh, well, tell me... Uh, He's an unusual person. Uh, yeah. How did your family, How did your family come up with that? Uh, that my mom came up with it. Uh, it's it's uh, Swahili. What does it mean? So, um, he who brings happiness.